I was like, I was popping this deep. I'll share it to this video. But uh, Trans Lounge, this is called D Chanel Secret Facts. You didn't know. I had somebody ask me to react to this, and I just skipped over that comment because I thought they were trolling. But then I saw the comment again, and I'm like, ain't no way this is an actual video. And lo and behold, it, it's an actual video. What secret facts you think you know about me? You don't know me. <laughs> Y'all niggas don't know me. I don't reveal any personal information about me at all. So I, I'm just really confused what these supposed secret facts are. But sure, we're going to see what they're talking about. But yeah, I think it's uh, interesting how people will watch you on the internet and, and think that they, they know things about you. Even people who Google me and they think they know something. Oh, I Googled and I found out. Nigga, none of that information is accurate. <laughs> Who do you think are putting up this information? Regular niggas out there on the internet, just like y'all, who, who don't know me, who don't know nothing about me. No, that's not my name on, on Google. No, that's not how old I am at all. But people just make shit up. It's very weird. When you become an influencer, and I'm sure celebrities got it way worse, but even with influencers, people are like weirdly obsessed and they will make shit up about you and say certain things randomly. Like, I can't count how many times I've seen things, even in my comments, about people saying shit. And it's like, nigga, you just made this up. What are you talking about? <laughs> There's no fact in this at all. Anyway, uh, sure though, let's see uh, these supposed secret facts. Um, we're gonna give this a chance. Maybe um, they are <laughs> exposing some, some secrets about me. Let's just watch. Are you gonna sound like gangbang? 10 interesting facts about D Chanel. Are you a fan of YouTubers who make reaction videos? We have explored one of the most popular ones out there. And here are some facts about the best one of all. What? Okay, you are trolling. Who fucking voices? <laughs> who voices this? What is this? Bro. On the 14th of May, 2016, and has been producing fun content since then. Most of her videos Why does are sound official? Various memes, videos, songs, and other things. I ain't nobody. Watch. What is this? As for now, she has a community of about 684,000 subscribers who anxiously wait for her to post a new video each day. Not anxiously, child. curiosity for fans and viewers, here are some of the most exciting facts about Dee Chanel that will make you more fond of her. 10. She is a Leo. Unlike most okay. people, Chanel finds believing and relying too much on zodiac signs quite silly. She believes that one must consider them. That's a lie. I, I, I believe in astrology, sir. Rising signs and moon signs too while characterizing themselves. She doesn't get Leo vibes in herself most of the time, but she is one. There are many other aspects to an individual's personality apart from his or her zodiac signs. Oh my signs. god, this is so awkward. Nine, she had a high school relationship for a year. Chanel is way Why is that relevant? Anybody think about that, nigga? Now, when she looks back at most of her life decisions, she feels how insignificant they were, just like her high school relationship that lasted for about a year. At that time, it was the most important thing in her life because she probably decided her entire future with the guy. But the breakup left her devastated. She <laughs> high school was a tiny portion Not of her life. And there's much more to life after that. She considers focusing on herself after any heartbreak or breakup because that is the most important and needed thing at that moment. You invested a lot of your time caring for the other person during your time together. Thus, now's the time to look after yourself. Eight, she lost her virginity at the age of 16. Damn, why are you all in my drawers? her virginity somewhere during her high school period. That is such a weird fact. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a fact, so I don't need to put it in quotes, but that's just such a weird thing that... Sir, get out of my panties. But, through her bad luck, her mom was quite uncomfortable discussing the sex topic with her while her sister was busy with her baby. Therefore, no. she has a list of advice for the go. out there who are <laughs> curious about their bodies and might perform the act sooner or later. What type her of weird... Her advice to the young generation is to not fall information in the of guys because it this will is so your first irrelevant. time, which should be unique. So, make sure you're pretty comfortable with your partner to have a gentle and comfy time. Not she lost her virginity at the age of 16 to her one-month boyfriend and somehow regretted this decision. She believes that one must know the partner well enough before giving in to their desires. But her boyfriend was kind and gentle enough to make it worthwhile for her. Oh, this is uncomfortable. Anything, and the act was all gentle. So Seven, Chanel condemns relationships in the same neighborhood as high schools. 
She believes that society is still living in oblivion and double standards. I didn't it say this, sir. Rules for girls and boys. That's the other thing I hate about being online. Niggas twist your words, and it's like, that ain't what the fuck I meant. That's not exactly what I said. Like, it's really annoying. I, I didn't say this. <laughs> You can be in a relationship with someone who goes to your high school. I was, I'm not repeating what the fuck I said. Which they are expected to follow. It's in that video. Oh, what video was this? It was like sex information or sex tips or sex advice for, for teenagers or something like that. Look, however, young girls are more targeted to double standards and it costs them a lot. She believes that both young girls and boys should not have a relationship while studying at the same high school or living in the neighborhood. Instead, they should explore other spaces and look out for better options. In this way, they will get their required privacy because relationships become scandals in schools as your peers might start shaming and condemning you. She's right when she advises this because she never had a good advisor in her team. Cheers. Now, she wants to become one for the current generation out there to not make these same mistakes repeatedly. Well, I want to become same. what? She had a vacation. Because you a goddamn lie. She never had a good advisor in her team. Cheers. Now, she wants to become one for the current. You a goddamn lie. I don't want to be nobody's advisor. I have put up a couple advice type videos. That was years ago. I'm not doing that anymore because first off, I'm not nobody mama. I'm not your, your mentor, your nothing. And I don't want to be responsible for nobody, nobody's decisions. So I'll stop making those type of videos. A. B. I don't want people to look up to me or to seek advice from me at all. Like, I'm still navigating life, figuring shit out. You got to do that as well. I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that. And I fuck up all the goddamn time. So who the fuck am I to try to be giving niggas advice and shit? So that's why I chilled off of that. Um, I mean, I still do it sometimes on my Patreon, but I'm gonna need you to stop spreading false info, sir. I ain't looking to be nobody fucking advisor. Generation out there to not this is uncomfortable. <laughs> Six, she had a vacation in Mexico last year. Maybe That's a lie well. Quite a tough job. If you we need in to keep thinking about your man. upcoming content 24-7. It is a full-time job. But things turned out to be fun for Dee Chanel when she went for a vacation last year in Mexico and took a short break from making video. However, she did update her fans Mexico and viewers about this news through one of her platforms to keep them informed. A break is 19? never a bad idea. Five, she got into a terrible car accident a month ago. Chanel suffered an awful car accident last month as a stranger ran a red light and crashed straight into her sideways. Wait, 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 the incident shook way. her mind as it was No, too much I didn't have it in March. It was in February. Was way Sir. Better. However, he never took a break during all this time. She remained consistent in posting her video, just like she always has. It's always advisable to drive safe because you never know who might crash into you from the opposite side. Oh. Four. You should not move to L.A., says D. Chanel. These are not bad. She believes that so L.A. is a big city and has the potential to make you go broke because it is insanely expensive for people to live That's there. That's not the main She knows want. many people who move to a new area or city just because they're depressed and want to figure their life out. But Los Angeles will make you more depressed, according to her experience and facts. That I wish she presumes that happiness comes from within. I said that, but not the shit you said before that. His or her location. Moving to a big city might make you more depressed. After all, you'll go there with a lot of expectation. And they will be crashed because all your previous feelings will still be there. So, I'm we so guess Chanel was right when she's advising <laughs> her viewers to not move to a new and expensive part of the country. Three, she went from fat to fit. Damn, why are you reading me? All her viewers out there. She turned from fat to fit. <laughs> no, the fuck that is not always bad because every body is no. beautiful. One must embrace their flaws and curves without feeling ashamed about it. But oh. fitness is the goal that we all should be aiming for. Oh. She was sponsored by a food company that managed to provide healthy meals that helped her shed the extra fat layer. It's no, they didn't help me do shit. Because it inspires and I never lied and said that in the video. With their weight and body types. One must only change or plan to become different when he wants to, just like Dee Chanel did. Two, she started doing cash giveaway. YouTube audiences oh, are shit, always looking for that again. Nigga, I did that one time, and, and I forgot about it. Turns out to be excellent when <laughs> content creators me? bring in other ideas like cash giveaways to surprise their audiences. Recently, Dee Chanel announced that she would be beginning cash giveaways for her followers. It was a token of love for all the support they've shown her in this entire journey. However, to receive the funds. 
she asked her subscribers to download the Cash app. One, she vacationed in Thailand. Lee Chanel went to Thailand in 2019 for a vacation and lived in a lavish penthouse with a view of a lush green garden. She first landed in Phuket and went boating with a life jacket on. Although she didn't get into the water because she doesn't know how to swim. I'll read However, some she had a messed up ride. I'm bad. I can't read. I mean, I'm not reading. Re <laughs> I so can't swim. For this video, folks. Listen, listen. No, I can't read, really, bitch. I, oh, oh my god, this was this was so uncomfortable. This is very hard for me to get through. Uh, don't get me wrong. On one hand, I am flattered, you know, to a certain extent that someone thought I, I was even worthy <laughs> enough uh, for them to make a whole fact video about me. But at the same time, it's like these were very odd, uninteresting uh, facts. <laughs> like. And it's like, bro, if, if you got to reach this hard to find a fact about me, maybe that's an indication that I'm not that interesting for you to have to make a whole video about facts about me. There are tons of other influencers um, that, that I feel like would have been better suited for you to find some secret facts about them that maybe their audience didn't know. That this was just like, what? I went to Thailand. I went to Mexico. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then reading me talking about I was busting it open at 16 and doing all this other stuff I just I, I don't I don't know how I feel about this let me look at these comments what is nigga saying are there any comments oh there are nine comments okay people are finding <laughs> are finding the ridiculousness in this as well uh Demi's react to this laughing emoji the hell is this <laughs> Cloud, boy, I got a fucking cloud to give to no goddamn body. Listen, um, yeah, this this was just odd. I'm sorry, it was odd, and um, I would like you to also get your your facts together because you know there were a few things that was stated in this video that were just not just not true. Um, I I can see how you might have jumped to these conclusions based on things that I've said before, but no, it, it's a no. Uh, about some of the things that were stated here, but I, why? Why did y'all want me to watch this? Y'all just want me to, to be uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I prefer the funny compilations that people make of me. You know, anything is appreciated, but yeah, if you just make like, oh, my funny moments or shady moments or thirsty, whatever, I, I would appreciate that over, um, these uh, supposed uh, secret secret facts, but um, yeah, still still appreciate that you know I'm I'm thought of. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all thought though. Let me know what other videos I'm gonna watch, and I'll see y'all the next one. Bye, Lord. I know you fucking lying. Whose voice was that? Who?